Depuis l'ouverture de l'Expo Dubaï 2020, le monde entier scrute avec une grande admiration les images qui en sont diffusées. Il sied de souligner que c'est la première fois qu'un tel événement est organisé dans le dans cette partie du monde.
Depuis l'ouverture de l'Expo Dubaï 2020, Your Excellencies, Distinguished Guests, Representatives of the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and Officials of the UAE, welcome to Expo 2020 Dubai, where every day is a cause for celebration until the 31st of March 2022. We extend our congratulations to the Democratic Republic of the Congo, embodied in its representatives and every Congoese citizen that breathes the air of the UAE on their national day. We extend our thanks. We extend our congratulations to the Democratic Republic of the Congo, embodied in its representatives and every Congoese citizen that breathes the air of the UAE on their national day.
Your Excellencies, Distinguished Guests, Representatives of the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and Officials of the UAE, welcome to Expo 2020 Dubai. Yeah.
Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, representatives of the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and officials of the UAE, welcome to Expo 2020 Dubai, where every day is a cause for celebration until the 31st of March 2022. Today is a new year for the Democratic Republic of the Congo. As they celebrate their national day, we rejoice with them a new year of relations to further deepen the roots of our mutual destiny and further enforce our bonds. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته ضيوفنا الكرام نرجو من الجميع الوقوف والترحيب بفخامة فيليكس أنتوان تشيسيكيدي تشيلومبو رئيس جمهورية الكونغو الديمقراطية ومعالي الشيخ نهيان مبارك آل نهيان وزير التسامح والتعايش والمفوض العام لإكسبو 2020 دبي إلى مسرح الأمم Good morning honored guests Please stand and welcome His Excellency Felix Antoine Chisekidi Chilombo, President of the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and His Excellency Sheikh Nehyan Mbarak Al Nehyan, Minister of Tolerance and Coexistence, and Commissioner General of Expo 2020 Dubai to the Stage of Nations.
Greetings, Your Excellencies, esteemed dignitaries and invited guests, and welcome to the official National Day Ceremony of Expo 2020 Dubai. This morning, we gather to officially honor the Democratic Republic of the Congo and their participation in this exceptional global event. Now, please rise for the flag raisings and the national anthems of the United Arab Emirates and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. It's my esteemed honor to introduce and welcome His Excellency Sheikh Nahyan Mbarak Al Nahyan for his opening remarks. Your Excellency Felix Antoine Shisikidi. President of the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Your Excellency Denise Tshisekedi Enyakiro, the First Lady of the Democratic Republic of Congo, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it is an absolute honor to be with you today as we gather to celebrate to the celebration of the National Day of the Democratic Republic of Congo. I extend our warmest greetings to you all and take this auspicious occasion 
as an opportunity to express our great pleasure at having had your country's active participation throughout this World Expo 2020 Dubai. Your Excellency, with only few days remaining before the closing of our gates, we fondly look back on the meaningful exchanges, celebrations, and commitments we have made throughout the past months. It has been a true honor for us to host this remarkable global event, one that turned out to be quite exceptional. Thanks to you, our international participants. You have dedicated monumental efforts to making this expo a success despite the challenges of the pandemic. And in so doing, you embodied the true meaning of collective effort, the fruits of which we have all experienced along with our visitors throughout the event. We thank you for the significant contribution and meaningful memories and look forward to our continued engagements beyond Expo 2020 Dubai. As we strongly believe that there is a great deal to discuss and much more to achieve. With an exhibition design that embodies the cohesiveness and collective spirit of a society under the theme, we make Africa's heart beat. The Democratic Republic of Congo's pavilion reflects the country's national priorities across various fields, including youth, innovation, business, and the creative sector, and shed light on the promising potential of the Congo River in relation to a renewable energy. Visitors to the pavilion also have the opportunity to learn about the dynamic and creative Congolese people, immerse themselves in the beauty of the DRC, nature, as well experience the, the rhythm of Congolese great music. As such, I would like to take this opportunity to thank you, Your Excellency, Mr. President, and the Commissioner General, Mr. Ijun Manga, and his team for the DCR's meaningful participation in this Expo 2020 Dubai. Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, our relations with the DRC have continued to expand over the years across various sectors, and we aim to explore the potential for enhanced collaboration in areas of shared interest, particularly in the industrial agriculture and renewable energy fields. We also aim to strengthen bilateral trade between our nations to further exceed the $1.1 billion achieved in 2020 as we work towards our mutual development and prosperity. With this, I welcome you again, Your Excellency, Mr. President, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, and wish you a productive and memorable time at Expo 2020 Dubai. Thank you very much, and God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. Now please join me in welcoming this morning's honoree from the Democratic Republic of the Congo. 
His Excellency President Felix Antoine Chisikidi Chilombo for his remarks. Son Altesse Al Nayan bin Mubarak Al Nayan. Excellent Sir Nahayan bin Mubarak Al Nayan, President of the Organization of the Exposition Dubai 2020. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, on behalf of the Congolese people and on my own, I would like to express my sincere thanks and deep gratitude to the government of the United Arab Emirates for their hospitality, consideration and attention that my country has received during this World Expo. Dubai 2020. I would also like to salute the quality of the organization of this grandiose event, which today, in the closing phase, has been a real privileged place for meeting a crossroad of exchanges on culture and the arts, as well for opportunities of investment for each of the countries represented here. This exhibition was also an opportunity to take up challenges that our planet is facing for the survival of humanity. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, the Democratic Republic of Congo is honored to have participated in Expo 2020 Dubai and to have presented its immense human, cultural, natural, and economic potential to visitors from all over the world to discover its material and immaterial heritage on the occasion of this great world meeting. For this national day, the pavilion of the Democratic Republic of Congo showcases all the existing opportunities and uh, what can be said in different sectors. With regard, in particular, to culture, the Congolese Romba, which has just been consecrated by the UNESCO as immaterial, intangible heritage of humanity, and will be honored this evening. In terms of the environmental challenge, the Democratic Republic of Congo remains a solution country in the fight against climate change with its tropical forests in the Congo basin, as well as its immense reserves of water, 30 megatons of CO2 can be reserved water that is about 10% of the global water and the great said that you just mentioned, Your Highness, this Dinga site that is one of the most important sites for renewable energies. The Democratic Republic of Congo is also bound with key natural resources necessary for the expansion of the global green industry. As a matter of fact, thanks to lithium, to just name one of them, that is about 60% of global lithium. The Democratic Republic of Congo is in the heart of the electric vehicle industry. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, since I became the president, I have instructed the government to deal effectively with the questions about the business climate through a new monitoring evaluation approach that never experienced in the past in our governance system in order to reassure investors and allow a frame of laws that allows and facilitates 
commercial rights and protect property rights. This national dynamic of cleaning up the business and investment environment is the workhorse of the government in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, my country took also part in the sixth edition of the Global Business Forum African held here in Dubai during two days. This large-scale event, organized by the Dubai Chamber of Commerce and Industry, in partnership with Export 2020 Dubai, provided a framework for stimulating debates on the promising business opportunities of the continent. This meeting gave a strong impetus to bilateral relations, establishing solid foundations on which to build in the days to come. Thus, the Democratic Republic of Congo was able to conclude some important protocols, in particular the bilateral agreement of mutual administrative assistance in custom masters, the convention of the elimination of double taxation and the prevention of fraud and tax evasion with respect to income tax. The agreement relating to the protocol and the reciprocal protection of investment and the protection of the agreement of the establishment of a joint commission for cooperation between the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and international cooperation between the government of the Democratic Republic of Congo and the United Arab Emirates. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, Expo Dubai 2020 allowed not only to share information and opportunities, but also to contribute to the mobilization and commitment of all participating countries in favor of a concentration action for the construction of a better world. Development efforts must continue given its correlation with peace, security, and stability. I therefore invite you to visit once again the pavilion of the Democratic Republic of Congo and to search all business opportunities offered there. Thus, I declare open the day of the Democratic Republic of Congo at the Expo 2020 Dubai. Long live the Democratic Republic of Congo. Long live the friendship between the United Arab Emirates and the friendship between United Arab Emirates and the Democratic Republic of Congo. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. We are now pleased to share a cultural performance from the Democratic Republic of the Congo. The unity of the people around its heritage, its values, is a symbol of synergy of skills and opportunities, and raises a tower like a termite mound. Songs, dances, and percussion from the common heritage of the 450 tribes unite people around the ideal of freedom, greatness, and power. Here now proudly representing the Democratic Republic of the Congo, please welcome Compagnie Théâtre des Saint-Trigans to the stage of nations.
Congo, Congo ne moka, Bongo kango mo kengeli, Yanko yi, Bongo kango mo kengeli, Leopa. C'est la rumba congolaise Oye Zali Mabine Yabiso Ya Kinshasa Merci, merci. Thank you to Company Théâtre Tisantrico for that exciting presentation. And with this, we conclude our official National Day ceremony of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Please join me once again in thanking everyone who has joined us here this morning and welcome to Expo 2020 Dubai. We extend our congratulations to the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Embodied in its representatives and every Congoese citizen that breathes the air of the UAE on their national day. We extend our thanks to our excellencies for being here at Expo 2020 Dubai. This spot, the Al Wasa Plaza, is the home for plenty of occasions, and in every day, this dome will host a National Day celebration until the last day of Expo 2020 Dubai. Thank you for coming.